This last week I had a visit with an old fling. I test drove a friend's electric scooter, took a morning bike ride into Mooning, and got back in the don't buy a couch kick. If any of you have been following along with my search to find a sailboat that's in need of a new captain, you will probably remember when I found this Tartan 37 that was for sale at a local marina. I recently visited that same marina with the hope of finding if there might be any other boats available, and much to my dismay, I came across this 37-footer again, only she was almost unrecognizable. When you neglect boats, especially in a saltwater environment, this is what happens. I'm looking forward to getting back to the Philippines and maybe do some scouting there. The search will continue. Speaking of older videos, some of my viewers might remember that the expat rescue episode I did mid-pandemic. Well, I'm happy to report that Mr. Ken has successfully settled into his groove here in Guam, and he called me over recently to check out his new electric scooter, which he let me test drive around the parking lot. I thought it was pretty cool, and I'd love to have one here for maybe cruising the beaches and the boulevards, but uh, that idea will need to be put on a back burner until we return from our upcoming trip to the Philippines. Speaking of which... We have been making preparations to get home there for the Christmas holidays. Earlier in the week, we shipped off a black buying box, and we're just hoping it arrives in Samara while we are still there. And in true fashion to my never slow down mantra, I picked up this cool t-shirt, which only reinforces the idea that staying busy is staying healthy. And it's a topic that I've talked a lot about at great length, especially for us expat retirees. I guess I can now say I put my t-shirt money where my mouth is. Actually, the shirt was purchased in support of the crew in the sailing channel Sailing Uma, which I watch regularly. If you're interested in picking up a shirt like this, I'll leave a link in the description box below. And while I'm on the topic of staying active, I'll share a little bit about bike ride this week in the village of Timuning here in Guam. While it's been a rather rainy, wet season, we haven't had any major storms to speak of, and that's a good thing. But with all the shower activity, it does tend to put a little damper on outdoor activities. Nonetheless, we managed to get lucky and get some pickleball games in on a regular basis, and I have been back to playing racquetball again, which is the best way to avoid all that wet stuff. As a side note here, it was all the Guam rain showers that drove us off the tennis courts into the racquetball courts when I was stationed here back in the mid-70s, and I have been playing racquetball ever since. Back in Samara, I tried to pick up the tennis racket again, but it was just a little too rough on the body, so I retired the tennis racket and uh, had to wait to get back to Guam to play, pick up racquetball again. We are seeing more and more tennis players, though, make the migration to pickleball, likely for the same reasons. It's much easier on the body. Oh, and in preparation for our travel back home to Samar, I'm in the search for a new laptop, one that is powerful enough to handle all my video editing once we get there. The old desktop I left behind some three years ago is, well, old and it may not handle the newer software and memory demands I will undoubtedly put on it. That desktop, by the way, is over six years old already and is probably ready for retirement. I came across an Acer Predator Helios 300 that is on sale, and it will probably do the job that I need it to do, so I'll likely pick that up later this week. The, uh, the Predator is a uh, basically a laptop that's built for gaming, and I think it has... Uh, has the capability to do some high level graphics processing. Oh, and I'll be packing the drone and hope to get a lot of new and updated shots while we're home for five weeks. One must do what they gotta do to stay busy. Coming up on Domino's, but it's way too early for pizza. Now Benny's, that's another story. I got a feeling I won't be seeing any couch time this trip and we'll have to take a vacation when we get back to Guam from our vacation.
happened to find Terry with their hula dance group at the Tumuning Mayor's Office parking lot. Usually they are down at the park at the beach on the weekends, but today they are involving themselves with decorating one of the pavilions for the upcoming holiday gatherings at the Mayor's Complex. I think she made the mistake of mentioning to someone that she knew how to paint, and well, there went all her free time this week. I'm just glad they're painting with water-based paints. And while I was there, I took in a little bit of a local tennis tournament going on, and after watching for about 10 minutes, I was back to pedaling again. And when I came back around, they were still dancing, so I headed home. And when I got back to the road to our place, I decided to check out the road closure that happened a few short weeks ago. The road that we normally take down to the beach has been closed for renovation. Here's a view we never get to hardly see, because this road's under construction, where they got it closed off. They're going to widen it, put in a bike lane, and a uh, sidewalk all the way down to the beach. That'll be nice. Normally I like to end my videos on an upbeat note, but in this case I'm going to give everyone a dose of reality, if you don't know it already. What's really interesting is while I was working on this video that you're watching right now, I noticed I was inundated with some advertisements on the internet. Advertisements about electric scooters. Now, in no way did I ever post anything like what you've seen in this video about me riding an electric scooter nor did I ever mention anything about me riding an electric scooter anywhere on the internet I just downloaded these GoPro files just maybe three or four days ago and uh, they reside on my system so how is it I'm getting these type of ads uh, I'm baffled. Mm -hmm. 